nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Well, good morning, everybody Well, look at this this is the pullover area I was telling you guys about. Yeah, and we are just about ready to go. We are on the phone with a very special guest tonight, or today, this morning, whatever it is. It is Trucker Jukebox. Yeah, a very good friend of mine. So if you haven't checked him out on YouTube, hey, be sure to check him out. I watch him every day. But anyways, this is about my show right now more than less <laughs> yeah we got uh, we got 996 kilometers to go to Winnipeg that's about 619 miles I calculated it out and we are just about ready to go now we got about two hours to go before we'll hit Nipigon Ontario and you know what is there if you've been watching my show for a while there is a Timmy's yeah, where we will fill this baby up and then we'll probably get a donut and we'll fill this baby up with some good Tim Hortons coffee and then we will put that hammer down and do our 58 mile an hour down there because we can't go faster than that. <laughs> Anyways, we got a roll so that's coming right along with us today. It's going to be a fantastic day got a little bit of drizzle going on right now it might turn into ice but we will get the heck out of here before it does right that's a plan all right we'll be back yeah guys we've been going for about an hour and three quarters now and we are about yeah I would say about half an hour maybe not quite half an hour to uh, Nipigon Ontario yep that's right now this is one uh, stretch that's uh, got fairly big rocks here to the left. Some spots it's on the right side too, but uh, for the most part there towards the right we got uh, a little bit of a lake up there, you know, that runs along here for a while. So I thought, well, it's a nice little gorgeous area, you know, why not get it on videotape, right? Hopefully I can uh, keep talking some interesting stuff for a little bit. I was just checking my uh, YouTube channel there this morning and uh, looks like we are sitting at 1,099 subscribers. I bet by the time we uh, release this video it will be over 1,100. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to uh, hit 1,100. It's awesome. Yeah only been doing this YouTube thing now for about a year and a half speed warning or a little bit over a year and a half and it's uh, a lot of fun for me you know it really is I enjoy making these videos for you guys and I also do enjoy when I see people subscribing to my channel and actually watching my channel or my videos I like to say that is awesome when I see some nice numbers in there you know 200 or 250 of you guys watching my videos that's impressive it really is but look at this highway here you know zigzagging around these hills up here you know that's nice looks like we still have a little bit of a fog up there in the mountains up there or whatever you want to call it hills mountains Whatever you like to call it, it is definitely a nice area for viewing. Now come winter, it's even more gorgeous. My book anyways. <laughs> yeah, see already you see a little bit of water here on the right. That's not the lake yet. The lake is a little further that way, you know. A little bit further to the right, but a little bit of a part of that lake, I guess. But Anyways, we are definitely going to go stop in there by Tim Hortons and we're going we're gonna to get her some coffee. Oh yeah, can't wait to go get me a nice Tim Hortons coffee. I haven't had a Tim Hortons coffee probably in a couple of months now. Oh, it's due, it's due. 
It's overdue. <laughs> yes, it is. Anyways, let's get over there and uh, get us a good cup of coffee. Alrighty, guys, here we are at Tim Hortons. Have a look at that. We're going to go inside and we will uh, go ahead and grab ourselves a good cup of coffee. Hi. Hi. Give me a cup of coffee or double double. It's nice that we don't have no snow yet. Yeah, for sure. That's I guess that might. Yeah. I think they said September was. Yeah. So we have to see what but October must have been too. Yeah. Well, I'm happy. My dispatch told me he said it's not supposed to snow till like. Yeah, I think it was snowing out in Winnipeg yesterday, but it's not coming here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one is a little tight. It's a brand new cup. Uh, you gotta, yeah, there you go. It's got our company name on it. They just gave us a nice... Uh, oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, eh? they gave us a very nice cup, so... Oh, that's good. Yeah. Maybe they figured if they kept a cup for you, you wouldn't be stopping as often, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess not, eh? Well, that's how I look there, Mr. Jukebox. Look at that, they got all kinds of coffees in here, eh? Yeah, look at that, they got big mugs in here. Some coffee. Yep, yeah, yeah. so we're gonna have our chicken salad sandwich and get out of here. Well, guys, we got ourselves a cup of coffee to go. Yeah, that we certainly did. We had one inside and uh, had a little bit of a bite to eat. And then I got me a coffee to go. That's right. Now we're probably going to be good for a while. Since we grabbed ourselves that cup of coffee, right? Probably don't need anything else. We had a bite to eat. We're good to go. But it looks like uh, it's not looking too good. I talked to that lady in there and she said Winnipeg was getting some snow today but it's not supposed to come this way which is unusual but I guess it's a little warm for that too I mean it's 10, 10 9, 10 degrees right now it'd be kind of a little hard to do that right now to be snowing oh they're blasting the hell out of these uh, rocks up here eh? Yeah, it looks like they're going to build a new highway up here They've been working on this for quite a while. That's right. I don't know why they weren't working more in summer on it. Summer they didn't really work much on it. You know, maybe they were busy in other areas, but now it seems like they're working on it. I bet you this whole rock up here they're going to blast. But maybe next year, the year after, you're going to see that. See, they're drilling holes right there. Probably drilling holes and then they're going to blast more out of this, you know. Going to blast this whole rack of the rock off and then we're going to have a highway over there. That'd be awesome. We've got a two lane highway up here. Like two ways, each, uh, two lanes each way. Each way? I can't even talk straight today. I don't know. I don't know why, but I can't even talk straight. <laughs> now look at that. Now they're working on this one here too. Never saw them working on this part before, so that's awesome. I know from a little further down the road from here, 
they got two lanes all the way up to uh, Thunder Bay already. So that's awesome that they're working on it constantly. I bet you that's going to cost them a lot of dough, you know, a lot of chiching to uh, blast all these rocks up and build a nice highway like that. That's going to be lots of money. But we pay lots of money to the government, so for taxes, so I guess they can afford it. Or they should, anyways, with all the taxes that we're paying. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's put the hammer down. Well, guys, we are in Dryden, in Ontario, right now. Just going through Dryden, actually. I stopped in here at the Husky. Yeah. Let me a little bit of a pit stop. Walked around the truck. Checked everything out. Everything is looking pretty good so far. And when I walked outside, I uh, walked around. It almost feels like rain, ice rain there when that drizzle is coming down. It's not quite cold enough to actually snow at least not in my books sometimes I guess it could but yep that's the way it is what do you got here bait all right I guess they're selling bait in there what do you got here a little bit of construction I guess so building a new uh, walkway up there yeah, it's about 335 kilometers left to do up to my final destination, which I don't know if I'll go right up to the final destination. I'll probably just go right up to uh, Winnipeg to the truck stop up there, and that's where we'll probably call her a night. That's the plan anyways. So we'll probably have about three and a half to about three and three quarter hours worth of driving left to do. Depending on how everything will go. If we got any more delay or if we got any delays or anything like that to change, right? You never know. You never know. Yeah, it almost looks like now it's starting to be more icy there on the windshield too. It really is. Anyways, let's put the hammer down to Winnipeg. Alrighty guys, here we go. We are entering Manitoba and do you see those flashing lights up there? Crossing border. That's never a good thing. Oh, I guess it could be a good thing. But to the right on I didn't really want them to highway. waste my time today. But apparently some lady let loose of the chicken, so they uh, went to the chicken house up here and uh, now they want to inspect me or they want to have a look at me anyways. I don't know if they want to inspect me, but hey, if they do, they will be on camera. I'm sure they will be. I'll tell them, I'll record the thing. I'll record them if they want to be... Uh, Continue on this road. They want to inspect me, I'll tell them. Hey, then you better smile for the camera. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what they want. Let's see what they want. They got both lanes open today, too. Yeah. Well, it says stop before entering the scale. All right. Well, I guess we'll try that. All right. There we go. Yeah. Let's see what they got to say. What are you doing? You say, what are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we got the green light. So they don't really want anything of us today. So I guess we have no other choice than just to get out of here. Right, guys? <laughs> I think so. Anyways, yeah, so we are in the White Shell area, provincial area, and all. 
And we are on the phone with Jukebox, Trucker Jukebox. Yeah, that's right. So let's get out of here. Let's uh, get to Winnipeg. We got an hour and a half to Winnipeg. And then we'll call it a day. We can't go no further. That's where we got to deliver, so. Alrighty guys, we've been in Winnipeg for a while already. I just finished uh, putting my video together there and uh, it's rendering right now. And uh, I'm just sort of like in Winnipeg here. I'm not right exactly where I'm supposed to deliver, but uh, that's okay. Very close to it. And the reason why I'm not right there is because I'm not allowed to park right there. And it's not because there's not room there or because the customer uh might be all right with me parking in there but uh the company really doesn't want me to park in there like our company you know they have it very clearly set on the message on my qualcomm up there saying do not park at the store where i deliver to so i'm just looking at the uh meat wagon over there you know what kinds of Christmas lights there I guess that four-wheeler doesn't want to move out of the way or something yeah that's all that's what it looked like that four-wheeler didn't really want to move out of the way but anyways we're getting ready to go to bed here I'm getting a little tired now I think it's almost 10 o'clock at night already anyways so yeah, I think we'll just go to bed here pretty soon and call it a day. We only have to be there at like 8 o'clock in the morning and it's only like 4 kilometers up to the place where I got to deliver. So that's like a little over 2 miles. It'll take me 3 minutes to get there, right? <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, let's go to bed and then we'll... Uh, Hope to see you on my channel again tomorrow, so stick around. We'll see you, we'll be able to show you. Have a good day. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.